Hey guys, uh, welcome to our channel. CFTs released today their newest update, the Black Powder Smugglers Runs. You can buy these special voyages for 5 doubloons each from Duke. You can find them in the tavern on any outpost. There are 4 different kinds of Black Powder Smugglers Runs you can buy now. They're basically the same voyages, only in 4 different regions. So now you can buy Black Powder Smugglers Runs of the Wilds, the Ancient Isles, the Shores of Plenty and Devil's Roar. There are also two Reapers Runs available. There's a one Black Reapers Run to the East and one to the West. You can buy those for 10 doubloons at Duke. As you can see there are also three brand new cosmetics to earn by completing three of the commendations. You can earn the mercenary figurehead, the inevitable reaper flag and the inevitable reaper sails. So let's check which commendations there are this time and how we can accomplish them. As you can see there are 15 new commendations to complete. When you complete a voyage once in a specific region, you'll unlock one of the commendations for it by completing it. So you'll need to complete one black powder smuggler of the shores of plenty, one of the ancient isles, one of the wilds and one of devil's roar to complete these four commendations. You can also unlock this one, the master black powder smuggler by completing the three runs in the regional regions. So the regions we just listed up except one in Devil's Roar. Once you've earned this commendation, the mercenary figurehead will unlock. The westward and eastward black powder reapers can be earned by completing the two reapers runs once. The legendary eastward and westward black powder reapers commendations can be completed by doing each reaper's run three times. So for example, when you've completed the eastward black powder reaper's run three times. When you've completed this commendation, the inevitable reaper flag will unlock. The inevitable reaper sails can be claimed by completing the legendary westward black powder commendation. Besides all this, you can also complete 3 commendations by selling 20 mermaid gems to the gold hoarders, the order of souls and the merchant alliance. It doesn't matter which color they have, so you can collect and sell any color you come by. From now on you can also just find the gems in shipwrecks or washed up on the shores. And the last 3 commendations can be earned by selling 20 gunpowder barrels to the Gold Hoarders, the Order of Souls and the Merchant Alliance. If you want to achieve those fast, we recommend you to visit a couple of inactive forts and collect as many gunpowders as possible. That way you'll unlock these 3 commendations pretty fast. Now let's have a closer look to the black powder smugglers runs themselves. Once you bought a voyage from Duke and when you voted on it on your ship, chapter 1 will start. You'll receive 3 maps from 3 different islands. There are marks on the map where you need to dig to find a crate or gunpowder. Once you found all of them on all the 3 maps, you'll receive the final chapter of the voyage. We notice that you'll always find at least one mega keg in the last chapter. Then your voyage is completed and you can turn in all your loot. If you're a pirate legend already and you just want to get the commendations really fast, we can recommend you to just tap the treasures on the map. So one crew member can be dropped on one island while the other one is already sailing to the next one. That way you can complete the voyages much faster. If you're not a pirate legend yet, we wouldn't do it that way. Because all the treasures will give you a lot of reputation for the different factions. You also never know what you might dig up. Sometimes you can come across a mega keg by chance. This is always interesting for your commendations and they're also worth a lot of gold. So we prefer to dig them all up and bring them in. 
When you start a westward or eastward black powder reapers run, make sure you put your reapers flag up before you vote for the voyage. Once your voyage started, you'll receive a first chapter. This will bring you to a ford where you need to dig up crates and gunpowders that are marked on the map. When you've completed this map, you'll receive a second chapter, then the third chapter. When this is finished, you receive the final chapter. Always keep in mind that one of the chapters could lead you to an active fort, so be careful. You can also try to collect as many gunpowders as possible while you're doing the reaper's run. You'll need to visit the forts anyway, so you might as well collect as many gunpowders as possible. That way you'll also save time to complete the gunpowder commendations. So this was our quick guide through the black powder smugglers runs. We hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to give us a like. If you'd like to see more videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you need help in the game, feel free to join our discord. You can find the link below the video. Thanks for watching and good luck on the seas. Raise your shovel and may Neptune be on your side. Shiver me timbers. Yarr. Fast, he's scary.